you've been watching the channel long enough, you know we like to do stupid stuff around here. Hachu! Whoa! Oh. So that's why today we're gonna make the world's nastiest cocktail to water cool, excuse me, liquid cool this computer. NZXT's starter PC series now starts at $699 and gives you everything you need to get into the world of PC. Available in multiple configurations, the starter PC can be tailored to meet your budget and needs and are the perfect way to build a work or learn from home setup while still being capable of 1080p 60fps gaming and popular titles like Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, and League of Legends. All of NZXT PCs come backed with a two-year warranty on parts, labor, and RAM overclocking helping to guarantee the best gaming possible for your build. To see the full list of specs and pricing on the NZXT Starter PC series, click the link in the description below. So this is obviously a part of our series of trying to do videos about things that don't piss you guys off because you can't go out there and buy stuff, but you know, it is what it is. So. You can buy that. Yes, you can buy this, and I suggest you mix it all together and just take a big swig. So here's what we got here. This is an 11900K. Uh, and we've done this before. We've done videos where we take crazy, like, random fluids and just, like, put it in this. You know what, guys? Don't be like, hey, you should try cooling it with pee. <laughs> Anyone that's ever suggested that in the past, that's what you sound like to me. You didn't do pee. <laughs> no. That's the closest we're gonna get to the color. That's only if you really dehydrated. <laughs> so. We've done this in the past, but we always use the CPU. The CPU for like Cinebench and stuff like that, but this time we're doing a CPU and GPU loop and we're using the GPU to stress test it because the GPU arguably gets much hotter in a more focused area uh, quickly, more quickly and more easily than the CPU. However, they're both gonna be in the loop. So it's an 11900K with a brand new EK water block on there, poor block. I'll do the best I can to clean it. Um, and then this is actually the EVGA 2080 Ti out of Phil's old build before we upgraded him to the 30 series, which he uses for editing these videos. And we kind of got a small, medium, and large here with a mystery fluid that sounds really wrong now that I say it out loud, but we have a mystery fluid that Nick's picked up uh, that we're gonna try at the end. One of the most common things we always hear is like, do alcohol, use alcohol. I'm like, well, I, I do alcohol all the time. So, oh, for the computer though, however, um, we're trying this Vitali Premium 4X Vodka with natural flavor. It doesn't even say what flavor. Well, how much was this? $4.99? $4.99 US dollars. It can't be good. And this, most of that's the bottle because it's glass. Um, anyway, that's, uh, so this is not rubbing alcohol, but it might as well be. And so um, the thing with alcohol is it usually stays cold, right? It doesn't freeze. So we're probably gonna end up using more vodka in the future because I'm gonna revisit the closed Sub-Zero loop again. But the problem with alcohol is it can dry out the O-rings and the plastics and stuff, the tubes, the acrylic. It can cause problems long-term. So it's not a long-term solution. However, the viscosity of it is extremely thin, which means it's not gonna like thicken up as it gets cold or whatever. Um, if anything, this will probably I mean, it's got natural enzyme type breakdown elements to it, right? So if there's anything growing in our loop, this would probably take care of it. Although it's a brand new loop I just put together, so no. Medium is gonna be apple juice. It's a little bit thicker than water, obviously, because it's juice and it's not water. I imagine it would smell nice. Um, food grade products, though, in a loop is bad. Algae likes to eat food just like people. Anything that's food grade is gonna grow algae. And no matter how much you put in there, biocides and stuff, that's why we don't put food coloring and stuff like that in our loops. This is just gonna be nasty, okay? We've done milk in the past. However, we did chocolate milk this time because it's gonna be even thicker. Milk likes to bubble and it's gonna get hot. You ever left a cup of milk out for a while? <laughs> and you're like, what's that smell? Yeah, I can't imagine this being any better. And then for the mystery fluid, I have no idea what, what Nick got, so we'll figure that out. But anyway, we have to obviously have a control. So this is just distilled water sitting in here because I'm only running a single 280 millimeter radiator with crappy Cooler Master fans on there. Like the just, these are just the worst fans ever, honestly, but that's because they're just basic case fans that would normally get removed. So we'll let this run for a few minutes. We'll let it sort of normalize. Um, and then we'll, we'll kind of see what happens from there. The idea here is that this radiator is gonna be slightly undersized because I don't wanna really, really I don't wanna put a giant radiator in there and let just the surface area do most of the work. We wanna actually get some sort of a measurable difference between these fluids. But Jay, why are you doing this? Why not? 
All right, so it's pretty much stopped climbing. The core tents at about 44. It bounces between 43 and 45, and it stays about 44. I decided to put the probe all the way down inside the reservoir because I want to measure the fluid temp. I don't care so much about the radiator itself. That would just tell us about the efficiency of the radiator. But our fluid is kind of equalized here, right about 35 C. It's actually not that bad. That's only about a 9 to 10 C delta between the actual fluid temp and the, the GPU core itself. So 35 C, that's our baseline. That's distilled water. So what we need to do now is we have to sample the product. Bottoms See, up. Let's try this coolant. Oh God, that's bad. Oh. No. That's gotta be the worst vodka I've ever tasted. It really does smell like rubbing it. When I breathe in, it gets spicier. It's Who the hell actually distilled this sh I don't know, I'm fine now. Ready, if you're ready, I'm ready, then we're ready. I know it's fine the gun now. Whoops. So I got out as much of the still water as I could. There's gonna be droplets here and there, but everything's pretty much empty. I think this is enough alcohol. It's also cold, because it's been in the fridge. So it's gonna take a little longer for this one to reach its equilibrium. The funny thing is, no one would ever know this was alcohol by looking at, oh, I spilled, by looking at it. I'm curious, is, like it shouldn't bubble up or anything, right? Here we go. Oh, it is bubbling up a little bit, holy cow. I bet you that's the water mixing, which is why I look in cloudy for a second there. There's way more bubbles in this than there was water, like with the water. Interesting. So it'll take a little bit of time for all this air to work its way out. So we'll, we'll wait to start the test until all the air is out. Then we can get uh, some real world, real world data here. We have words for the verb. All right, don't forget this coolant is cold right now. Coolant, that's funny. Um, it's cold right now because it's been in the fridge. Uh, prediction time. Is the alcohol gonna be coldest? Hey, look, we got more. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking alcohol is gonna be the coldest. Do you think there'll be much of a difference between distilled water and, al and the alcohol? I don't think there's gonna be much of a difference, but I think that the water might be colder. All the, most of the bubbles are out now, so. Hey, the GPU had a little bit of orange discoloration because of when uh, you had the orange fluid in there, but it's cleaning it. <laughs> I don't recommend putting vodka through your loops to clean it, but it's working though. <laughs> there, I don't know if I didn't get a shot of it beforehand, but there was a lot of orange dye, like just crap still in there, but it's, <laughs> it's working. Dude, it's literally disappearing as I'm looking at it. Holy crap! It was the whole thing. Now it's only the center right there. Yeah, it's totally getting cleaned out by the alcohol. So 35.2 C was the maximum temperature we saw in the last run. I don't, I, I don't know, based on science, where if it should be the same because the heat load is the same. Okay, let's think about this for a second here. Maybe we should have done this before we started the video. So, if the temperature here is exactly the same, therefore the thermal capacity of it is the same, right? All you science degree guys out there, comment. Okay, a couple of things to talk about here with the vodka that we're finding quite interesting. Um, so the temperature is at 49, and I've been waiting to see if it would hit 50. It hasn't, but uh, if, if look at our core temp. Oh, we just dropped to 1995. So what's kind of happening here is as we approach that 50 C, our boost tables are kind of all over the place. We're on water, we stayed locked at the 2055 I have it set to. So I don't think we're gonna hit 50 C and we're not seeing the coolant temp, excuse me, vodka temp rise anymore because that fluctuation in, in frequency is actually enough wattage change at a slight level to not really allow it to go any higher. Interestingly enough though, we do know the thermal capacity of alcohol is less than that of water. We were at 35.2. That was our maximum uh, coolant temperature when we did our water, but we're at 36.5 right now and we've got a 5C higher change when it comes to the actual temperature of the core. Now, interestingly enough, we, we kept an eye on what the temperature on the core was when we crossed the same 35.2 Celsius mark. And at 35.2, the same as water, our core was actually at 47, which is 3C higher than we saw with just water. So in fact, Nick even looked it up, that straight alcohol, remember this is vodka, this is not straight alcohol. There is some water content in here, so it's not gonna be as bad as if it were straight alcohol. In fact, I kinda wish we had done it with our isopropyl now, because this will probably give us an even worse rating. But it's about 2,420 joules per kilogram Kelvin in terms of thermal capacity versus about 4,000 Oops, no, okay, I didn't flip it off. <laughs> versus about four, I thought I switched to hit the, hit the switch on accident. But about 4,000 joules per kilogram Kelvin when it comes to straight wa uh, distilled water. So 
That explains why we have a higher temperature at the same temperature on the, on the actual water. Because people might look at this and go, well, wait, 35.2 C on the fluid should be the same as what it was on the, on the water, but that's not the same. The thermal capacity is, is much lower, which means we were seeing more temperature on the core because less of the heat is being absorbed at the core and moved through the fluid. But it did take a lot longer for this fluid to actually uh, reach its max temperature. Now, if that's the case, it should also mean that when we stop the test, we might see, a, oh yeah, Look how much faster that's reducing. So when we turned off the test with distilled water, I showed Phil, it was about one to one and a half seconds per tenth of temperature drop with no load applied with the same RPM and the same radiator. But it's going much faster than that with the alcohol because again, there's less thermal capacity per kilogram Kelvin in the alcohol. I found it so smart. There was also a side note. I don't know how well this will pick up on camera. There is a slight orange tinge to the alcohol or to the vodka, excuse me, because like I said, this block still had a little bit of remnants of the orange dye because this used to be in, in Phil's editing rig, which had orange coolant. It completely cleaned the block. The block, with the exception of a little bit of a dark spot right in the center of the core, is good to go. So I guess you could use vodka to clean your loops. Don't quote me on that and don't hold me accountable if you screw your crap up. But I guess, um, hey, Get hey. <laughs> hey. Conclusion is just, hey. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do the apple juice. Predictions on this? I think this is going to be, I think it's going to get really warm. I think it's going to be worse, dude. I think it's going to get really warm on the coolant and the core is going to go really warm too. That's what I was talking about, the evaporative coolant. <laughs> that took my breath away for a second. <laughs> Take my breath away. <laughs> I hate you guys. Fun fact, my grandma, who passed away a long time ago, uh, she's old school Bavarian from Germany and she used to drink apple juice and vodka. No joke. I'm not about to take one for grandma because <laughs> yeah, look, computer. it turned orange. Yeah, it's pretty obvious now. <laughs> it turned orange and it has floaties. <laughs> it just looks like pee in there. It just looks like pee. Gross. Let's see how well it fills. <laughs> the sound. There we go. God, look at the block. Would you like a pee smoothie? <laughs> if your pee looks like that, you definitely need to drink more water and go see a doctor. The nice thing is because I don't have a lid on here, it's not gonna create foam. Like that time that we did the beer, it was all capped off and it got all clear and then Nick was like, oh, I wonder how it smells. And he uncaps the lid and it's <laughs> like, it just, it's like you took an ultimate, like you put a, 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 a beer can in a paint shaker and then opened it up. That's what happened. I'm just waiting for as many of these bubbles to get out as possible because the amount of bubbles in the, the fluid will affect uh, how much uh, thermal capacity it has because air obviously isn't gonna transfer any heat. So we need to wait, make, let this get as clear as possible. It's starting to clear up though versus when I started this clip and now, look how much clearer it got. Contains water, apple juice concentrate, absorbic acid. Ascorbic? Oh yeah, ascorbic, not absorbic. <laughs> I was like, that's why I was like, what absorbic. I was like, absorbic. <laughs> absorbic. <laughs> Does it absorb your fat? If it absorbs fat, then I'm just. <laughs> okay, I really want to predict that they're going to be about the same as the vodka. I think we're going to hit about 49.50 C on the core. I have no idea what the coolant temp will be. It's obviously not going to be as good as the water. That's for sure. Although we've done this in the past, Nick and I, and we've been wrong. <laughs> so, exactly at 24 C, it was 36 C here. So I want to see at the rate at which it climbs. Yeah, there we go. So it's, yeah, it's almost a one to one. That raises a C, that raises a C. Ambient temperature raises a C. Your radiator temperature raises a C. Your GPU raises a C. So that should be hitting 38. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> it did it right when I said it. Science works. So this is a little bit unexpected. Uh, it hits 35.0 and then it will drop back down to 34.9. So just 35.0, 34.9. We're at 45C which is essentially the same temp on distilled water. Distilled water was at 44, and then it would hit 45 and come back to 44. Where we're, so we're gonna be about a half a degree to a degree hotter. The coolant though, the apple juice, is 0.2 lower than our max. Oh, there's 35.2, but watch this. It'll actually drop down. It could be because I just touched this right now, but it's essentially the same as the distilled water. And so is the temperature on the GPU and the fluid. So that was not exactly expected. It did better than all three of us were pretty much expecting it to do. 
So it's slower at letting go of the heat. And so I think that's kind of what we saw here because it took admittedly a lot longer for this fluid to reach the 35 C because that's, that's one piece of information we didn't have during this test that kind of makes this more just a fun video to watch rather than anything truly scientific is the fact that the, the second, at least third data point that we really need here is the time it took to reach its equilibrium. And I think right now, apple juice, at least of the, the three we've done so far, is the longest in terms of absorbing that heat. I think the milk is gonna take the longest, but um, yeah, so consider this just fun info, not like, don't go write your doctorate about this. Listen to the scientists in the comments down yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> only those that have bona fide science licenses that are issued by the government are allowed to comment. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's so thick. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like liquid poop. <laughs> it's cool looking though. Like the tubes look solid. Dude, you got that flat dark earth going. <laughs> Ew! You can see everywhere it leaks in between. <laughs> the tubes look good, but the oh god, it's so not. Like how many calories is your loop? This is kind of a neat. How many calories is your loop? <laughs> Sentences no one said before. This is kind of a neat looking color though. Cause there's a slight blue tinge in this tubing. So it's a weird, like, it just looks like that's the color of the tube, huh? It's already about to hit 40 C and it's only at 25.2. So that means so far it doesn't look like it's really absorbing temp too well. Yeah, it's climbing. Like it starts to climb and then it stops. Look at it. See how it pauses? It's already at 40C at 26.7. Yeah, we know this is gonna be bad. And then we have to run alcohol through it again to clean it all out. This has nothing to do with the video. It just, Jay wanted to be more disgusting. Now it has natural oh, flavors. Oh, we should do that in slow-mo. <laughs> that was a slow-mo guys video. Now it has natural flavors. I bet you it would still clean the loop. <laughs> is, Oh, did it just make a, basically like a Irish coffee, but like a Russian coffee? <laughs> uh, 36.3 C and gross. No, it's, it's like a filmy layer. 49 C on the GPU, look at that, 49 C. Just like we saw with the alcohol, we lost a bunch of boost bins. Right, it came all the way down to like 2010 or 1995 for a second, but that doesn't really get any higher now because the boost bins are kind of keeping it right there. So, chocolate milk and the vodka are essentially the same. Only obviously the chocolate milk is gonna do nastier stuff to your loop. So now we gotta clean this out and I'm gonna actually do that by running the straight isopropyl alcohol through it. <laughs> With how warm this radiant everything is, I have to imagine this would be pretty gross to drink. I don't know, wasn't that something that we said in the old movies? Could I get a nice glass of warm milk? It helps put me to sleep. You could trouble me for a nice glass of shut the hell up. Now you will go to sleep or I will put you to sleep. You see this name tag, Grandma? It means you're in my world now. I've never done this before. Good. Oh God, it turned chunky. Yeah, it's not like filling all the oh, way. Oh, did it like, did it chemically like, like chunk the milk? <laughs> okay, stop. Abort. Oh, it's turning off. Abort. It's going. Ew. Ah! I didn't expect, I thought it was gonna clean it, not coagulate it. It's like hair balls in the t oh, <laughs> That's only gonna get stuck in everything now. Look at the GPU. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's like, it's going <laughs> against the micro pins. And it's not making it all the way through, dude. <laughs> oh, CV, CV over yeah, I know. <laughs> Ew, it's like slowly rising up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <You killed me>. <laughs> <laughs> That scared me. Well, I don't think we're gonna make it to the mystery fluid. What was it? Hand sanitizer. Go get it. It's still not turning on. Oh, it wasn't down all the way, I don't think. 
Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, the audience is going to be like, you killed an 11900K and a 2080Ti for this? Let's check the temps with this stuff. <laughs> okay, it still works. It still works. I This is awful now because I... <laughs> It wasn't supposed to be like this. It was just supposed to be like, look at these silly fluids, and then that's it. And then this happened, so... Yeah, it's just not transferring heat. The radiator's cold, and it's at 41C already. Although it's still cooling better than an air cooler <laughs> with this crap. So anyway, maybe now I have to do a video about a full block disassembly and cleaning, because that CPU block, man, it was a brand new block. This is all fixable, though. You guys want me to do a video about fixing it? Comment down below. Anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry for the stupid stuff. This wasn't supposed to be like this.